Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hot Sassy, and welcome back to Godless Factorium, where we are building our base without any belts. So, last time I let down a lot of rail templates, and in the meantime, I also placed the rail. And we can see we have a nice tileable grid. And today we will tackle copper. We want to mine it and we want to have a setup for smelting. Um, so uh, let's see. I don't have any uh, real infrastructure on me. Now, um, Let's grab a, a few of these, two locomotives, one wagon, a um, few signals, um, and I probably also need a few large power poles, and we need definitely more uh, more inserters, also the long ones. Um, so I will craft a few things and uh, then I meet you back there at the copper field where we hopefully can place in um, a bit of uh, a mining post. I got myself some inserters and hopefully also all the other materials that I need to build here. And I think this patch we will mine vertically because over here we have a, a small outcrop of copper pretty close to the rail. So horizontally might not work that well. So let's see what's the closest we can get our station in here and is this enough space um, to, uh, to allow to allow allow uh, for the mining and we can easily find that out by basically copying this setup over and I should think so so that means we can also hook that up and that should allow us to to place the station don't need that rail anymore this station is copperfield um can also add copper here so um, and we will only allow one train in there so then we need to align this that way very nice and then comes the tedious task of placing all the chests. And I find the easiest way is if you place the 
the chests and then go about and place the inserters because once you have the the chests in place you can just drag the inserters and if you do it like this line by line you also don't forget uh, any uh, chests or inserters uh, along the way and can be difficult to navigate through here but I think we will manage now I will set up this uh, outpost and then we can see about smelting here as well we can see that the outermost line is not yet hooked up because well there is no copper but everything else is working and if we have a look at the power we are pretty much maxed out so probably before adding the smelting uh, i should go around and add another uh, um, power station or two but let's first see uh, to the train wagon and of course i don't have any coal um, but we can do that later because the train does not need to go anywhere as long as um, there is no there is no um, there is no station for the smelting so let me quickly uh, finish up a few loose ends like the radar there uh, the coal power um, and the uh, power setup uh, for which we will probably need a bit of um, of iron so we can have two of these Let's make four while we are at it. And we need a bit of stone for those. And then we probably have to go up here. and have it that way but now the power is looking much better and we can see about the coal um, let's also add uh, radar and then we can see uh, where we want to or where we will place the smelting for the copper when it comes to placing the smelting for copper i think this square here is a good spot it's a bit closer to the copper field uh, and I imagine that we will require quite a few squares for smelting and then maybe here in the middle we can have uh, something like uh, the, the science production so the stuff can come in from the left and the right but we will we will see how that goes um, so actually 
Let's just copy this to here. And then we only have to build it. Right. And we do need to place the signals there first in order to be able to place the station. And we have to rename that because that's not iron plate loading but copper plate loading. And we also need another symbol here, that one, right? And then the same thing down here, where we have the copper delivery. Um, of course, we, we also need um, this and the signals. Large power pole there. Then this one is copper or smelting with the right symbol there. Good. And then the last one uh, has the entry here at the top. And signals there and there. Then curving around. To get in here. And this one will be copper plate loading. Nice signals here and here, and then we once again need to place all the chests. And here for the smelting, we do have a few more um, long handed inserters. So that goes directly in there and here and here and that covers all the inputs. So and let's do it the same way here where we just have to see how to place the chests and here we have this this is that way that is that way and then this is the last one here at the back. Right. That should cover all of them. And let's just make sure we get also all the power poles. Yep. Now only the furnaces are blanking because they are not yet full fueled. Well, maybe they are fueled. Uh, fueled. Ah, uh, what a day. Then same thing up here. So um, 
I think we will just skip skip ahead until all this is done because it's not that terribly interesting. I am back with a bit of uh, coal and down here you can see something else that needs a bit of fuel. Uh, but before we get to that, uh, let's head over to this train and set it up. So, Copperfield, full cargo, copper plate loading, um, no, 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 that's the wrong, the copper ore smelting, empty cargo, and there the train goes. And it works. So let's find that auto train and uh, supply a bit of uh, cold air. So we can have more iron smelted. And then I also think I do have a bit of a, a few more uh, locomotives and uh, Okay, here we don't have too much and here we have none. Right, that sorts that train and then we probably also should place some trains down for the copper plates. And with copper and there is another furnace out of fuel but so am i so basically we can remove these signals there and have a train sitting there and there and these also want to be fueled however one of the next projects would be either uh, to see if we can hook up the coal and somehow uh, use that to also uh, fuel the uh, furnaces or we could see about getting science uh, automated with the, the with the iron and the copper plates that we have now in our system i would not say on the on the bus but uh, in our rail system uh, and um, with that i leave you while i am running around supplying coal to various uh, miners and machines and uh, we will see what exactly we will tackle next time. Until then, goodbye!